Hi guys, want to hear the most sounding, uh, most annoying sound in the whole entire world? It'll be us with this week in toy culture. My name is Arash. With me always is Mr. Bergevine himself. Yay! And if you're looking for GameStop exclusives, don't bug him unless you physically go into the store. Yeah, um, come on in, don't call me. Interesting enough, we're both wearing red today um, on a very interesting Tuesday, uh, October 6th. Dude, can you believe it's October 6th? I just, man, like mind boggling. Like, so, seriously. Uh, I think the other mind boggling is the fact that we get to watch more basketball, we'll say. Yeah, right. Our, our, uh, we, you, you called sweep a no, few no, days I said ago. Five. I said Lakers said, in five. You said five. I, yep. I, I was hoping Heat still win. If Heat win tonight, I, I think there's a possible chance, there's a bigger chance that this may go to six to seven. Oh, yeah. Um, especially the way uh, Butler played, and especially the way the rookie played. So, Oh, yeah, man. Butler went nuts. nuts. Dude. He went nuts. He went ham the other night. Oh, yeah, because he had to. I mean, if you watch game two, Butler had easy buckets, and he wasn't taking those shots. Yeah. yeah well, anyway. uh, down Drogage, down, you know, Bama Bio. They had nobody he had to. You know, he had to go yeah. off. I got to so. go all ham, guys. <laughs> Speaking of uh, ham, what you eat for lunch today? Uh, uh, Panda Express Chinese food. Panda Express Chinese food. Yeah, they had the <laughs> the, the uh, smallest line in the food court, so that's what I went for. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Mia? How you doing? And and how are your mall hours going? Because I was just as you as you saw my post for the uh, for Sunday of how dead my mall was at eleven o'clock, and I have a very busy and large mall yeah no. and to walk and to walk around and look at and look like it being a ghost town just was a shocker to me during during the week i want i want to say between tuesday and thursday we are very very slow we don't do more than probably like 30 transactions at you know gamestop but then friday saturday sunday it's like 80 plus transactions so it's more hopping on the weekends monday is kind of a eh. it depends on if kids are in school or not in school that's where we're busy but you know too much, too much, too much. But anyway, let's not talk about all this jibber jabber. We're here to about talk about toys. It's the name of the game, right? This week in toy culture. Right? Mia loves us today. Hi, Mia. Thank you for watching us as always on your Tuesday evening. We're we're happy to to bless you with some uh, toy knowledge. We get some fun stuff. Um, Hasbro Pulse finally released or is the second release technically to me it's the second release of this figure for others it's the first time if you don't have her ready in the marvel legends regular box all right my background's a mess if you don't have a <laughs> regular marvel legends box which i do she was released about four or five years ago and this is now the second re-release of this lovely figure they said she comes with a pretty little thingy yeah, uh it's hard she got the cat yeah. and what the uh, cat nine tail or something. I think it is. I think it's the proper term or something. Cat nine. Actually, with Mia, you're looking for a Final Fantasy anniversary editions. You got to go to local toy stores. Uh, I believe some of them still carry the Final Fantasy anniversary editions. And if I'm not mistaken, these are the ones that were almost ten years ago. Mm -hmm. I know a few spots in New York that have them. Um, uh, but um, you should check out wherever you live. Check out your local comic book stores. They should have a few. Um, but anyway, yeah, with her cat little purry friend. Now, 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 did were you? Did you end up getting this with? Uh, oh my god, I'm trying to remember. It was one of the goblins. So originally, this was released as a build a figure set with one of the regular figures, and this little set now. Finally comes in the Spider-Man Legends box and everything. Now, I, I won't get this figure because I have this. I see. I love the fact that it's got that retro, old school, like Spidey and his amazing friend style, you know, right. you know, 70s, 80s type of, you know, cover art and stuff like that. And it looks like a comic book cover, which is absolutely fantastic. I think this is a great thing for Hasbro to do because they're selling their toys and it's definitely bringing recognition, especially with some of the uh artists that are doing this you know you definitely follow some of your favorite artists and you see this cover and you're like oh man i really gotta go grab that spider-man cover um okay. so i think this is fantastic 
Jable, this may be listed as a retro figure, but in my opinion, if I pull it out of God knows where it is here in this pile, <laughs> this is a re-release, bro. This is a re-release. The only thing they're doing for you right now, they're just giving you brand new box art. And since you are an old school 90s nostalgia for oh, yeah. the Spider-Man cartoon, you're buying it because of that little box art right there. Let's let's like like look at it. You you're getting the old school Peter Parker. You know for a fact you're hearing the music playing in the background. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I could pretend I'm playing the song in my head, but you know, <laughs> it is not a retro. You, you know what? You know what? If you think it's retro, it's retro. But to me, it's a lovely re-release. And if you don't have in your collection, go on HasbroPulse.com. Oh, wait, it's already sold out. Go on Entertainment Earth's website. Go on GameStop's website. Go on everyone else's website and pre-order your favorite action figure today. And, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I, I love my collections, which I'm still waiting for. Netka, Netka Super 7, and Hasbro. I'm, I'm right. just waiting for, like, because of the pre-orders that you and I have done in the past mm -hmm. several months, especially during COVID, and especially with shipping getting super delayed, I'm just waiting for the whole entire lobby of my building to just be filled with small, <laughs> tiny boxes everywhere. Where it just all has my name on it, and it's all confused of like small box to big box, and someone just going, "So what's in the box?" I'm going, "It's a toy," and then right. it all goes into the wrong set of conversation when it comes to unboxing your favorite uh, toys. And one of you guys can explain to me this whole new uh, other group that someone started today. Anyway, uh, back to more toys, especially to Hasbro. Michael, you also missed out on this one as well, too. I did. And I'm that so is upset about this one. The Cad Bane uh, with, uh, with Toto. I Toto. I like the fact that there's a Toto. Yep. Yeah, I mean. Yep. Well, Cad, Cad Bane, I mean, obviously, we were introduced to him with him, the uh, Clone Wars for the cartoon series and stuff like that. And he was basically a hitman for multiple people in it uh you tried taking out the emperor the chancellor he's tried taking out everybody and the little toto guy was like basically his little backup guy that would go through places to get him unlocked or get him into the actual uh jedi council and different stuff like that this figure is absolutely fantastic i love it and i'm upset that i missed out on the pre-order of it uh, just because you missed out on the pre-order doesn't mean you can't get it somewhere down the line. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to have to search for it. It's going to be something I'm going to be spending a little bit extra cash on it. But, you know, it's something that's going to be worth it. And it's just driving me nuts now because so many good collectibles coming out now. And it's like, man, not enough money in my wallet. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I mean, if Hasbro is listening to us, especially since some of them are across the street of some locations, right? <laughs> uh, they like to send us some box art samples, or maybe just the empty box. You know, you know. You know what? I, I'm. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the company to be like, look, we're gonna send you some stuff, and they send us just the box art. I'm happy. game. I'm game for the box art, or or you just give us this. You know, yeah. just a box art, like no actual figure, as if the, the figure is supposed to be in the sleep. I'll take it. I like the way the box looks, though, because of the difference of it, where it has like compartments for like his, you know, his two guns, little Toto there, the way he is. Um, I do enjoy that. I like the look of it. I think it's something pretty sleek, and I like the way that it's starting to change the design. The overall sleeve of it, too, and if you look at it, it's flat and left hand side, and it looks like it's got like a cut corner on the right hand side. It's definitely something pretty neat. They're changing up the look of the box art, which is definitely improving. Um, Just slide it in, bro. Just <laughs> slide it in. I mean, as I the electric slide, you know. I mean, look at the box art itself too. Not only are you getting this in the front, it does come in a carrying, not carrying case, but an outer almost sleeve, like in a way. Right, your book sleeve or or DVD or Blu-ray sleeve. You're just mm -hmm. storing it away, just like you would any other anything you want to protect. And that's the other thing. That's that's a nice thing to keep it from protected from getting a little nicked up, or you know, if you leave it out, the dust on it, which can cause it to fade. The actual overall inside, um, obviously, the value will be a little higher with the actual 
cover sleeve per se. Um, mm -hmm. This kind of reminds me of like the old 8-bit Nintendos when it came with the little black cartridge sleeve and you would take your cartridge and yeah, slide yeah, it right yeah. into it. This is what that is. Although I don't have to blow on this cartridge to get it to work in my uh, console or on my bookcase, you know, so definitely something is, valuable there. But this doesn't have a bottom stand. So will it stand on its own without having to put it in like so many weird positions? We'll never, mm -hmm. never know. I'll Ooh, never well, open it, so I don't care. <laughs> I'll open it. Shoot, if this kid, well, I know you it, will. I would. I told you. Because, look, just like everything else, I mean, as I look to my right, if I just show everyone the camera, if I look to the right, there's a wall of unopened toys sitting right here. And it is the Marvel Legends collections. There's like one, two, three full sets sitting <laughs> right here. And no one has gone on our Instagram, especially my Instagram, which is Arash uh, Evo to go and vote and i'm just always looking for voting and we still haven't gotten our 30 contestants it's been two weeks granted last week we didn't promote it it's been over two weeks and we have not gotten 30 people to show up <laughs> to take a picture with you so we're still uh, waiting on 30 people to take a picture with you to win um i, I you know what to win the heath slater autograph if you're a wrestling fan you will get a heath slater autograph and maybe I'll throw on a T-shirt, you know? Hey, you know, mix this a little. Uh, next on our lovely little list is the uh, Scout Trooper from the current Star Wars game, if you haven't been playing it. Uh, you said yourself that a lot of people came in today pre-ordering this action. Yeah. Between yesterday and today, I think I've got like five or six pre-orders for this guy. Uh, a couple of people came in first thing when we, re when we opened up the stores just to make sure they can get a pre-order in on it. I nice think five bucks, you know, I mean, they're guaranteeing a copy of it, but it's definitely a cool figure. Kind of reminds me of the shock trooper that they did, the purge uh, trooper because of the gaming greats um, okay. in our in our system. It's listed as like phase two or three or something like that. It's some weird thing. I don't know why they have them as different uh, names in the system, but it's basically the, the trooper that was on the speeder bike. This is what this is. You know, if yeah, I remember correctly. So you're doing the what? This doesn't have a satchel bag to hit the kid. <laughs> this doesn't have this. I mean, look, as much as as much as I, lo I love my six inch figures, they need to make the vehicles that go with the six inch figures. And Hasbro's done just a few, and they've done it with the Marvel collection. If you got in Squirrel Girl, she comes with a scooter. Yep, I should pull her out. Um, uh, if you have Punisher, you have the motorcycle. If you have Ghost Rider. He comes with his ghost riding motorcycle. I mean, you get both versions. You either get space uh, ghost rider or you get regular ghost riding. He comes with motorcycle. So I'm waiting for Star Wars to jump on this bandwagon to make vehicle accessories. Yeah. Maybe maybe at least the motorcycle or the speeders. Something where it's fittable. Not the actual ships. Because if we got an actual ship, we're talking about like stuff that's literally the size of the screen and bigger. I'm going this way because... You know, because I do that, yeah. I'm already out of the frame. <laughs> We're talking about like big ticket items that you'd have to build out of a cardboard box. When I mean build out of a cardboard box, I mean the size comes this big. I mean, yeah. we need big pieces. But if we get the scouter, get a speeder. Yeah, it's a speeder bike. I mean, it, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, the the overall design of the character. The, the box art, I mean, the box art's a little plain um, compared to some of the new stuff that's coming out. Um, but I get why they did that because it's just they're going with the gaming greats. They have the black and like kind of black and like the teal in the background of all of them for some strange reason I've noticed. Um, but it's definitely a cool piece. It's a cool figure to have. Uh, it doesn't fit in the actual, you know, movie verse, but it's part of the gaming stuff. So if you get this, the Purge Trooper, Darth Nihilus, you're doing almost like all of the, the gaming g games, which are actually fantastic storylines in their own right. If you get if you get one, you get the other. And pretty much if you do love Je uh, Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order, there is a DLC for the game coming out very soon, which I'm excited for. It's only been, what, almost a year since it first came out? Give or take, I want to say, yeah, I think it came out last September, yeah. October. Yeah. So I believe, if I'm mistaken, if I get more word for it by Black Friday, yeah, we got to wait for this long. By Black Friday, there's going to be a new DLC to go mm -hmm. with the Jedi Fallen Order, uh, which would be really cool. And just in time, because we all know that every Christmas there's supposed to be something Star Wars. 
So the fact that we're getting get near that is kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah, Jable's like, tell me more. Well, Fallen yeah. Order DLC is coming out very soon, guys. I'll have to uh, try to go get on. some more info on that myself. <laughs> right. I, I read it, and you work at GameStop, and yeah. I know more. You're like, wait, how do you know more? And I work in a game <laughs> store. And it happens that way sometimes. Yeah, yeah it happens. Uh, well, you know what? Michael will probably, you know, next week, Michael will probably tell us a lot, lot more than what's going on. I'm, I just got the rumor mill. So I'm just mm. starting the room. I'm just continuing what the rumor mill started. Uh, next on the Hasbro Star Wars agenda, it is the uh, Vintage Collection, uh, Tantiv, uh, the Mach 3 or 4, I mean. And if you watch The New Hope, this is the scene that you've always wanted to have in Rebuild, which is from The New Hope, which yeah. is from yeah, A New Hope. Yeah, they don't tell this us is... anything at GameStop. You don't work <laughs> this... at GameStop. I don't know yes, why he does. went to try. Yes, he, he does. does. Yep. Oh, he now got he got hired a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, con- congratulations. He knows. He knows my not... headache and pains now. <laughs> Welcome to nightmare. And for anyone looking for a job, apparently GameStop's hiring. So there, they always are. But yes. you know, I do like about this is because this is something we never had as a kid. Like I don't mm. ever remember seeing this as a kid for the uh, toy line to like build this yourself. This was always something that you had to make your own or something. If you were like somebody who was like a model kit builder, you could make this yourself. There was never anything like this for a kit that I remember as a kid growing up. Um, I had quite a bit of Star Wars Transformer fig uh, Transformer Star Wars figures. Um. I did trade a this, lot of them for baseball cards and got in trouble for yeah, it. Yeah, this <laughs> this is very retro. This goes with your three and a half inch figures. Uh, also included is the Rebel Fleet Trooper. Yeah, go ahead. See, the funny thing is it says Star Wars Rogue One on there. But then if you go back to the other one, it's basically from, uh, this looks like from New Hope. Uh, New Hope. Yeah. So... But I mean, obviously, we understand both of these kind of tie into each other in a way because Rogue One leads at the end. If you've watched it, you go right to the end. You had this, and then you go right to A New Hope, and you see Vader basically slaughter people. Like <laughs> it was never ever anything. Um, Especially seeing Vader enter that chamber, which we're about to show in a second. Vader coming out of that chamber, and it's very dark, and all you see is just a lightsaber going off. Yep. It is. The most intense, and then once you get that intense, it is the last scene intense as well, too. Yep. You know, though, you see that from Rogue One. You see how he, Vader just basically mauls through, like, 20 people, blocks shots, throws them in the air, slices them, does everything. And then it's like, the next yeah. scene, he's just like, ah, you know, like, just he walks through it like a 90-year-old man. I'm just like, wait, wait, wait. I don't understand this, but come on. At least make it realistic. So, if anyone... so. I think because of the packaging that came with the figure, this is just repackaged. Because if yeah. you have the regular troopers, this is just another way for you to jump on the bandwagon that, oh, I like Rogue One. This is a Rogue One figure. The same way how they re release a Darth Vader and it's exactly the same figure, just new boxing saying Rogue One. To, uh, to New Hope, to Last to Last Jedi, to you know, the Empire Strikes Back. I remember it, the reason for this is mostly it's also a nice marketing ploy. They do new cover art, box arts, and instead of them re-releasing the same toy that they released before, now it's the re-release and they change the cover art, the box art on it. Maybe they add like a little extra piece to it or something. It's to get the collectors back in again. You know, the people that missed out on it the first shot. Hey, now I can grab this in the second shot. I mean, this is the first time ever for this being offered as far as to my knowledge. So this is definitely cool. And I like where it's behind the scenes and you got like R2-D2 and C-3PO going to find Princess Leia to get the message to get in the escape pod and go save the universe per se. You know, well, the galaxy, the sorry. Universe. <laughs> We're gonna, they're going to save something, but hopefully, you know, you can save you can save Hasbro by making a purchase and buying <laughs> their, their latest uh, their latest. Um, I don't think you need to save Hasbro. I don't think they're hurting for money just yet. You know, just just oh, no, just a not. thought. No, but they could send a few packages our way. Pretty much, mm-hmm. they could send a few things. I will gladly um, unbox it right here. Talk about it. Play with the toy. I'll look like a little kid in a candy store. Feel free. Come on right. over. So, so, so you're saying the next toy that we're about to show everyone 
you're going to open it and you're going to transform it, we'll say? Uh, well, I mean, I, I do have a couple of them pre-ordered uh, at GameStop, so there's a possibility that could happen. <laughs> uh, you've missed San Diego Comic-Con. This is another re-release, and sadly enough, it is sold out on Hasbro's site, but yet again, if you go on Entertainment Earth, eBay, and GameStop, they are available, and it probably will be available. Uh, there are some slight differences, uh, because while me and one other person were talking about a different figure that we posted a while ago, and that was the uh, <clears throat> Transformers Ecto-1, mm -hmm. and the Slimer is a different color, and one of the shields is a different color. Now, the one I'm about to show you, the um, I believe the windshield is a different color. So if you yep. have the first edition, this is now the second Comic-Con exclusive edition. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Back to the Future Transformer uh, Gigawatt. I do like how we have him like looking at his watch like you know uh, Marty McFly did. Like He's looking at it's back in time, you know, looking at his watch. Uh, yeah, they did change a lot Stand of this. Car. Yeah. The, I mean, this, the character is basically the same as far as I can tell, like the overall look of the character, uh, transformed and everything. It's when he's in the car mode, they tinted the windows a little bit more because they made it darker like they would with all the other transformer figures. In the first version of this, it was clear see-through in a way. Um, so you could see in the, into the cockpit. If anybody follows transformers, the, a lot of them don't have that except for like Optimus Prime and a couple small ones have it where you can see in but for the most but part they're all did dark have it yep yeah this one if you have the first edition which is we're going to the second edition only you could go inside and see um uh, the flux capacitor so that was their highest detail was that you can see through the windshield a little version of flux capacitor mm -hmm. so there's the little I, back of it i dig this i i love the look of this especially the wheels turned down He's got the flux capacitor, like 3000 thing on the back where it takes carbon and it's got, throws a banana beer can. It's a bit of both. It's, it's yeah. back to the part two, uh, like all, everything from hoverboard, from hovercraft mm -hmm. to the jet engine propulsion. And as you said before, to the recycling into um, waste management, into yep. nuclear acceleration. I don't, mm -hmm. you, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, the doors open just like you would just like just like you would anything else. Yeah. So pretty cool. Awesome. Definitely cool. I just hope he's a good size when he transforms. He's not like a mini figure or something. That's my only downfall. So But I like how you, you replace the one back piece and you're able to add the pole for back to the future right? one. Uh you get the electric uh, lightning bolt collector basically. It puts the one point two gigawatts into the uh, flux capacitor right into it. And just build your mini town and have them drive right through or have them run and transform into that spot. Could you imagine people redoing that scene where gigawatt goes back in time and he can't send himself back? He's, he's the <laughs> Marty McFly. In life. Uh, I'm, I'm I, waiting for actual like videography people, like stop motion people to literally do that where he runs and he gets to 88 miles an hour, but he can't get to 88 miles an hour. He's got to drive himself. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just saw a robot chicken that when they do this, he'll fry himself. So <laughs> if robot chicken does a version of this and he ends up getting cooked on the way after getting electrocuted, we predicted it here first, guys. Right. <laughs> or the Simpsons. We predicted it here first. Uh, <laughs> Simpsons, what are they, like 20 for 20 in predictions? They're, yeah, Man. they are 20 for 20 on predictions. I like I the love close up. I love the little, you know, flux capacity. They got the date on it. The, was it 1955, 1985, 2015? Man, how scary is 2015? It was five years ago. Wow. I remember, I remember when they brought in Jimmy Kimmel yep. and they did the Back to the Future Day. Oh, yeah. And they're like, ah, oh, we're in the wrong time. Yep. They had uh, Christopher Lloyd. Michael J. Fox and uh, who else do they have? Liz Leah Thompson, I think they were on set or something for a little bit, yeah. But they yeah. they focus on the uh, they focus on Michael J. Fox um, and Emmett Brown, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because why? That's what we care about. That's the box. Just so you know where to get it. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a 
San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Yeah, this was first released in July. Now we're getting it released again. Just yes, last just a couple days wasn't ago. This, wasn't this released a couple of years ago? It was like two, three years ago. I think this originally came out. Uh, this was also released last year. Um, this was I also last year, last year, San Diego, San Diego. Yeah, I thought last year was the Ecto. Two years ago was Ecto. Oh, two that's years why ago. Box, was Ecto. Oh, that's okay. why Ec, that's why Ecto. If anyone's picked up Ec, Ecto, it says 2018. <laughs> Okay. And 2019, they had the first edition of this one, and this is now the second edition, where it's the in between, <clears throat> where it's the in between San Diego and New York Comic Con. So we're in the uh, New York Comic Con phase as of right now. Yeah. I like it. I like the box art too. I love how they have the little Back to the Future in the top left hand corner, the Back to the Future 35th anniversary, the whole nine. I think this is definitely cool. Uh, Jabo yeah. says he's got his. Which version, Jabo, did you get? This version, or did you get last version? I think he pre-ordered this one, but I think he also already had the uh, other one. Yeah, I may have to hunt for a clear one so that way I can have them both side by side. Add 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 another at five zero to that little uh, <laughs> to the end. <laughs> Maybe I get lucky. So uh, it's not that bright. And also, we don't really post a lot of WWE stuff because Mattel's Instagram, Facebook, website is not very up to par these days so if you are a child who loves the wwe loves having those infamous ambulance matches they have the slambulance uh that is released at target go and pick up your favorite slambulance at your latest target just to add to your wwe action figures and stuff i mean I look I, I love the name of it <laughs> This is the second release that they've done on an ambulance. The first time was you got a legit ambulance. And I think the back opened up, and that was about it. This one, you can actually smash, and it looks like Braun Strowman is bouncing off the top. So we got Braun Strowman. We got, looks like Drew McIntyre. John Cena, of course, in the driver's seat, of, of course. course. Uh, then you have Randy Orton sliding in in the, yeah, in the <laughs> gurney. Looks like in the back. Done, he looks like he's on the gurney. <laughs> he's like, like he's being yeah! from it. He looks like he's about. He he looks like he can ride the gurney down a hill or something, or down some steps. I do like this. I I'm I'm curious if it looks like it cracks up, like you have to hit something, and all the sides fall uh, fall open or pop apart and stuff. Because it looks like the the hood looks like it's got a crack in it, so that's gonna pop open or something. Depends on if you hit something. Uh, definitely a cool piece. This is something that little kids are gonna have a blast with breaking it's apart. Is they gonna you know? Slam it into like a chair or something, or a bottom of a bureau somewhere. Well, as a, I, I was like the wrestling figures at one point, and I remember, you know, having to find the tables, and some action figures came with ladders, tables, and chairs, and of course they broke apart, yeah. and it was hard. Like once you lost those pieces, oh, they never them again. Then Jacks at one point released accessory sets. When I mean released accessory sets, they released a TLC set. With championship belts, so Table, they ladders and chairs match. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, so so uh, Jax back in the day was very good at releasing, uh, was good at releasing accessory packs, and the accessory packs are worth more than the actual action figures, except mm -hmm. for two of them, and there's two rare Ric Flairs that only five were ever made. Yeah, it's scary, right? Made? Uh, sort right. of made. They went into the staff. Um, they were handed to certain staff members for okay. like, kind of like, um, like you know, kind of like instead of you getting the participation award for showing up, or someone yeah. who's been working there for five to six years and was helping with sales and marketing. If you were there for a long time, you got certain action figures, and uh, they went from a couple hundred to just literally a handful. So, which right. is pretty cool. Neat little gift to get from the company if you work there, you know. I'd like that. Yeah. Uh, but as we were talking about some Back to the Future stuff, Netka today released a bunch of tours that we started beginning of this year, and they are out, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do you have to go hunting at every single Target and Walmart all together, you can now yep. hunt eBay, which I just found. I found out today that Netka has an eBay page, and they have them available. Not on their website, but on eBay, which is interesting, which I don't understand why. But, you know, Snetka. Maybe, 
limited run. They can, you know, put it out there for a set price. People bid on it and stuff like that. I mean, oh, they're trying to defeat to the scalpers. It's, it's 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 direct to buy. Um, oh, okay. you, you pay the same retail price that you were any uh, that you would any anywhere else. Um, so I I find that to be very interesting that a lot of the figures that you and I were hunting for are still available on Netka's eBay page. Anyway, right. uh, but if you are in the hunt, here's the lovely little lovely little schedule on. As of the couple days ago, the animated tours are released. We'll get to those in a little bit. But also, starting this week was the ultimate figures of Marty McFly to Biff and even a doc as well, too. Uh, we're going to show you some of the figures that are out in store. So happy hunting. And don't forget, these are the toys that are located in the electronics department, not in the toy aisle. So when you're yeah. hunting in Walmart and Target and you can't find it in the regular toy aisle, you have to go to the electronics section and it's usually next to all the Funkos. Yeah, and they usually have it kind of opposite like where you would find cables for like cameras or like for a computer or PC software peripheral, stuff like that. It's usually around that area in the movies, I've noticed. Yeah, or by the magazines. I remember one yes. time looking and it's right next to the magazine aisle yep. or by the posters or or by the video games. I mean, don't forget to check the video games because they'll put the video game toys right next to the video games now. So we got the Biff. He's got Ooh La La and he's got the <laughs> uh, <laughs> the the Sports Ooh Almanac la. book. Ooh La La. He's got, even got mean Biff face. I do like this Biff character because it kind of like they, they took it right out of the movie, put it right there in front of you. Like, here you go. Here's Biff. You know, they did a great job with the detail on, especially with the, the magazine, the little suitcase that he had everything in, stuff like that. I, I do like the case, uh, the overall look of it, where it's got the background in it, where it's the. Uh, where were they? Right. I can't remember the city they were in. It's Hill Valley. Hill Valley. Thank you. Hill Valley. You know, right back there with the milk shop and everything like that. It, I They did a great job with this, and the attention to detail is fantastic. You mean the malt shop? <laughs> the yeah, malt shop? shop? Whatever it is. AKA, you know? AKA, AKA now called a diner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, it's a, now in America, we call them diners, if no one knows. Back in the 60s and 70s, malt shops were diners back then, kids. Yeah. And they used to sell soda and ice cream first before turning <laughs> into actual food. Wait. And milkshakes. Doesn't, wait. Doesn't one place do that? Does that already? They started as ice cream. Now they're serving food. Friendlies did that. What's the other one now? I think New Park Creamery did that all around me. A lot of places they did that. Yeah, every oh. place starts with an ice cream parlor or something. And then meanwhile, look, we're going to sell hamburgers and it all starts out, man. Goat cheese and hamburgers and hot dogs. And that, what cheapest, let's start there. Cheapest items to make the best return on. You yes, think about true it. Too. Yeah. Besides the salad. Yeah. Uh, that's the box art. If you're looking for the. Uh, uh, for Gray's uh, Sports Almanac. I mean, you can get it right now, but you'll fail at every bet possible. <laughs> <laughs> didn't they? Didn't somebody actually make the Gray's uh -huh. Almanac? Like, somebody actually released it and for it was an actual legit magazine, and they released it as, like, a prop or something, and people bought it. I believe Columbia, Columbia Pictures or Paramount Pictures released a comic book. Yeah. Um, that had every single sports from uh but they released in 2001 or 2002 so that way no one could bet on the games yep and they had released every single game and i believe if you look at some of the pages they wrote the last couple seconds like if it won by buzzer beater because mm -hmm. some people some people i think later in the years were betting who would take the last shot if it came down to the last second like as right if back. You know, as, as if um, it'd be as if like um, it'd be as if like Michael Jordan took the final shot and they would put Michael Jordan in the final shot. Or they would say Larry Bird takes a three in the corner and in the uh, in the sports almanac, it said Larry Bird takes the final shot, that kind of thing. So with sports almanac, you actually got to see like one or two lines on it or like, you know, um, uh, uh Hammer Mill, like if you're doing horse racing, Hammer Mill wins, wins by a nose, and they literally write wins by a nose in the page, in the book, which is really cool. Uh, and J-Bo, yes, Dairy Queen was the other place 
that has <laughs> ice cream to now regular food. And we love Dairy Queen. And that is the back of the uh, Biff action figure. And what's really cool is actually this is listed for Back to the Future Part 2. So pretty freaking dope. Pretty, pretty dope. We'll get to more stuff anyway. The, um, the one thing is the face on him there for Biff Tanner. He looks kind of like, I don't know, like that. like angry. He got like that derp look face to him too, though, you know? Eh, well, you know, at one point he did play a derp hack, so Yeah, that's true. And not gonna lie, if you see him today, even though he's got a little he's a little heavier, but he still fits that mold if you ever see him. So he's a funny uh, guy though. He is a really funny guy when you meet him in real person. You want to meet a good guy that's at con uh, conventions, I'm telling you, you gotta meet Tom Wilson, who is uh Biff Tanner. He is a super nice guy. Always dressed up in a suit and everything. Super nice, super polite. He was he was bad to me. I mean, look, I said really? hi to him. And ah. he, yeah. I mean, well, I guess you, 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 own, didn't, have that, you didn't have that own. altered reality entertainment shirt on, you know, type deal. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't I didn't have a crew shirt or anything, or I didn't have a certain look anyway. Um, right. the other figure out as well, too. Happy hunting, ladies and gentlemen, is the <laughs> ultimate Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part One. Which comes with extra hands, you know, one that holds guitar pick, a slight alternate version of a guitar. Yep. But if you have other characters that have guitars, you can just swap them out. Like, or no big deal. It. Paint it a little bit, you know? He didn't, play, he didn't play that guitar. Why would you paint it? <laughs> he, didn't pay, he didn't play this guitar. Why would you yeah. paint a guitar he never played? I do uh, like that it does come with the keyboard. Yeah, I'm sorry, not the keyboard, the skateboard, and you have the, the old school camera. And he's got the backpack as well, too. Yeah. So he's got all everything you need from Back to the Future Part 1, including the life preserver. Literally, mm -hmm. Dork thinks he's going to drown. Mm -hmm. JJ, if you're watching, that's this this one's for you. Dork thinks he's going to drown. So <laughs> <laughs> kudos to uh, one of Biff's uh, members. What is it? Entourage, right? Yeah. JJ Cohen was one of Biff's entourage from Back to the Future One and Two. Uh, so if you remember him, he says, you know, he grabs the he grabs the life preserver jacket and says, Dork thinks he's gonna try. <laughs> Sorry. I laugh at that line now, just because I became friends with him. I think, all right, now see see, by this box art alone of how everything is accessorized and in place, now I see why they went with a smaller guitar. Mm -hmm. But it's still no excuse of why you couldn't put a larger body guitar on him or you could have had him already holding guitar with him like with the marty figure yeah uh to me this is a no excuse i'm very disappointed in this figure altogether especially if they're gonna throw throw the guitar put in the right guitar i understand but he wasn't playing a yellow guitar yeah. but still cool yeah, still disappointing. I, still I like cool. the the second head they put on it with the the glasses. It looks like the They Live. You remember? Oh yes, that, that movie. It's got that They Live like glass look to it. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like Roddy Piper smiling at us right now. Yes, exactly. It's like Roddy's like yeah. They live. Roddy's like I got you. Roddy's like you could put him on a different character. And you can say it's Roddy Piper. <laughs> Just gotta have him holding it in there, kind of the title or a. U uh, U.S. title if you were a WCW fan. That's the front box art if you're missing out on it. Literally, Back to the Future 1 box art, so you really can't miss between the two. Cool. <laughs> I mean, the most terrible box art, I'm sorry, is going to be this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you That's are a fan of Back to the Future, that is too small. small. Yeah. I, I do but, agree with you there. But I'll give him this, though. I want them to release him in the suit. So maybe when they release him in the suit? When he's at the... the uh, At the prom, the dance? The, the C end of the dance thing, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that they re-release this figure um, with him in the suit uh, and the car, maybe. Maybe they release Lorraine and the dad figure as well, too. Those are the three figures, and they're all in suits. Mm -hmm. And the suit will say and they're all getting ready for the dance so yep. then this i can see for later yeah get the guitar right he did, <laughs> you know what 
No, this reminds me of no, actually, no, even in Back to the Future Part 2, he didn't have a yellow guitar. He had no. the same body, um, I was gonna say straight, a stray cats style guitar. Yep, it's a Gibson. I'm I used to play guitar, now I'm blanking on the name of, of that guitar anyway. <laughs> but anyway, this is what happens when you don't play music for a while. Uh, this one you're not too fond of. No, I. <laughs> I forgot this part of my childhood. I forgot this part of anything of this cartoon. The fact that NECA went out of their way to release this figure. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is from the CBS edition of Back to the Future for your Saturday morning cartoons, which only lasted one season. I repeat, yeah. this is the CBS edition of Back to the Future where it only lasted one season. One season. But- it was like 20 episodes or something. It was Doc Brown, Marty, Biff, and I think there was like two other characters that were involved in it. I know Einstein was, and I don't know if it was the girlfriend or it was like his sister joined in on some of the uh, escapades that they did. It was so bad for a cartoon. But God, actually, but but this cartoon was interesting. I remember actually now talking about it. I remember the cartoon because they threw in Back to the Future Part 3. So this this cartoon continues from the original series Mm -hmm. almost like how ghostbusters continued from ghostbusters one into ghostbusters two back to the future the cartoon is technically back to the future part four Mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't know they have um if i remember correctly out of the cartoon they had um the train they had the locomotive and they they had doc's wife didn't i know i know a few maybe that was that maybe it was his wife that was in it it was the yeah. wife. Um, I believe the kids were in and out of the episodes. They didn't really show them as much because they showed them going into school and these antics were happening while the kids were in school. Mm-hmm. But, and sadly enough, while Marty never went to school. <laughs> well, technically, Marty, I thought, graduated like his senior year or something like that, you know? Wasn't it, wasn't it his actual senior year? Going to the back, if going back, doesn't he enter senior year? I think so. Yeah. Well, he was all know. talking about getting getting into a good school so it would be his final year. Well, you know, he had a time machine, so I mean, come on. Yeah, you saw us at Target way before that, oh. Jay, but we, we know we know, we, we know when it happens, all right? Uh, that's the Biff. If it's just you a, like so it, just creepy. If you remember, because I think it was. every Okay, okay. Tell me when you don't see this figure, you're not hearing the Biff figure. You're thinking of like, hey, guys, you know, I'm going to yeah. like, like, you know, that's do you remember the voice w- here. Wallace and Gromit when they do those yes. stop animation? This is what it reminds me of. Like, this looks like a stop animation character, and he actually like he looks he to me looks like a Neanderthal here. It would be like that Neanderthal talking or like he's an idiot type thing. That's not good at all. Yeah, <laughs> you got yeah, the see? yeah, but you got Doc with Einstein. Not even look right. No, he's got the glasses. He's got the goofy glasses. He's got whatever this is supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I has got the stopwatch. I st- he looks like he's you got like a mohawk. He looks like he's got a mohawk, and then he's got like a purple poof in the back of his head. I like the box. I like the way they sold you in the box art, though. Yeah. <laughs> the dog is behind him as if, like, trouble's about to happen. He looks like he... I, I think if I remember in the cartoon... He was more very Scooby Doo esque. Yes. Very scared of going into any adventures. Now he's petrified of touching the car, going anywhere near the car after what happened. <laughs> I mean, oh, I would know. be too. My master took me and put me in a car and literally shoved me into space and for twenty four hours straight or whatever many hours it was, I I see beamy lights and then yeah. I saw life again. I'm traumatized, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're lucky that dog didn't uh a uh, Ralph all over your uh, your, your floor mats. <laughs> but but Mia says I never saw the show. Mia, I saw the show. You didn't miss much. And it was one of those that it was so bad that you really forgot that this show existed. Mm-hmm. And NECA is nice enough to remind us how bad the show was. And wants to re- I think Sony wants us to relive this terrible moment. I don't know why. And Paramount Pictures wants us to, to get it. Look, if you like the sh- if you like it or whatever, great. You know, if you played the if you played the 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 um, video guess, game, 
the video game, yeah, the current mm -hmm. video game, this is almost the same style art that they used as well, too. Yeah. Uh, so they were both used somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It's your choice, guys. If you want to get the toy, go get it. Target has it. Someone says Target. He saw the Target. Yeah. One yeah. person said he saw the Target. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is the Marty version. I mean, as you said, like accessory wise, at least he's got the guitar. I see that's mm -hmm. guitar style guitar he's supposed to be playing. But the funny thing is, he's got a five string guitar. Right. <laughs> but I think it's. <laughs> and of course, the hoverboard is updated completely. Um, this looks like it flies on its own, like literally flies on its own. Does it need to like be on the ground? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's total disclaimer. You guys like it. Go get it. You're not cool. At least I mean, the, the Marty McFly doesn't look so like, you know, horrific, like thing of nightmares. He doesn't look that bad. I mean, look, man, it's this looks like the, this looks like one of the kids from the shining. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Did you see Wallace and Gromit, the AKA serial killer, in the first ones you showed? Stop saying. You know? Fair. <laughs> fair. You know? Fair. We're going, we're going with that little shenanigans kind of bit. I, yeah, I get it. Yes. Get this. It's at Target. Go, go. Happy hunting. All right. If you, if you get lucky, if you get lucky and you find it, send us a picture. Put it, uh, tag us on, tag us on evilcomics.inc or tag us on our Instagrams. It's right about here. Yep. You know, tag us there as well too, and tag us on Eva Comics okay. on the Facebook page as well, and just let us know you you got the you got the toys, you like the toys, and you love playing with them. If you have a cool display, let us know you have a cool display, and maybe we'll send you something for us showing yeah. us your cool display. Send us a picture, uh, we'll put them up. Yeah. Last but not least, Back to the Future Part Two. My whole thing is this semi Pepsi that we're not getting. We were talking yeah. about this last time. It's not Pepsi. I mean, it's not Pepsi. It's Peppy. Peppy. Peppy Direct. <laughs> Peppy Direct. Yep. Last time when we when we saw this last time, it was supposed to be Pepsi Perfect. Yep. This got changed to Peppy. Peppy to Peppy Perfect, and one of the other ones actually said Neca Perfect. So I think so what's the board say? Huh? What's the board say? The board say anything. But I have a I have a strange feeling that there's gonna be a NECA perfect running around if you Ooh, haven't picked one up. A chase. A chase. That's my yeah. opinion. I could be wrong, but I remember I remember when we talked about the show last time, uh, we were making fun of the whole Peppy Perfect, and then we saw one that said Necky per NECA perfect. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could be. Yes, the board does say NECA. Yes, we know that we touched this last time. Yeah. You can't see it from here. It says NECA. Yes. What? Love the Marty. I remember I remember when TJ Maxx was selling these hats for like oh, literally God, yeah. five bucks. And my friend says, Oh, what a stupid buy. Who the hell would buy this hat? And <laughs> I laughed at him and I said, Dude. I could sell these hats that I just bought for five bucks or twenty dollars at a convention, and guess what? I did a few. I showed my friend, and now Tar and now TJ Maxx couldn't hold hold on to a single one. Uh, that's your Marty McFly. Yep. It's got Back to the Future two art, so that means if if box art says correctly, we should see Western Marty very shortly. Yep. yep. And Western Marty would have. This being altered and Doc's wife in the background. Yep. And it would be awesome to get that in that look of the, you know, the, the 19. Box art sequence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it would be really neat for that box art. I'd see Doc Brown as a uh, Wild Wild West type guy. Well, yeah. Yeah, all of them being in the Wild Wild yep. West environment, and everything too, which, look, compared to the other box art, how many times you get an action figure and you're just sick and tired of some of them or. They put all the box art on the side. You can't really view much, mm -hmm. you know. Just like, just like our lovely, you know, just like our lovely horror stuff. Yep. You love the box art. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. You love the NECA stuff, guys. You love the NECA toys. Yep. You love the NECAs. And they put some Especially, hell of detail in some of these. Oh, speaking of horror and everything. Did you have you been watching a lot of TV, especially I think Free Forum or whatever? Mm. Tim Curry 
Tim Curry has been voicing a lot of these commercials. Really? It's Tim Curry's voice. I, I mean, it doesn't sound like Tim Curry, so he actually has a say in the commercial promo spot that it's Tim Curry, and they're talking about the 30 days of Halloween. Hmm, I Tim, didn't know that. It's Tim Curry's voice. If you're if you're going through channels and you're on the free forum channel, which they're going through thirty days of thirty days or thirty one days of Halloween, thirty one days every night Halloween. at eight o'clock. Yeah, they're going two back to back movies, and then on Halloween night they playing and they're ending it with Hocus Pocus. Start it's time with for it? Christmas. Ending Start with Hocus Pocus. Pocus, ending it with Hocus Pocus, and Nightmare for Christmas is also on the last night as well too. So you get Nightmare for Christmas into Hocus Pocus. Not bad. Nice. Yeah. Get us into the mood. But you know what I'm really in the mood for now? I got to go back chasing. Some pizza? And I have... Do I have time for pizza? I may have time to go to get a slice. <laughs> Speaking of slices of pizza, especially going to Target and Walmart runs, especially I went from the individual boxes. Now I forget two packs of everything, which I don't mind, but I get to keep my single packs intact and I get to open mm -hmm. these up. So yeah. which is really cool is that NECA for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles released the dates of all their toys that are that are out in stores. Some are online. Uh, especially in the bottom ones, if someone sees Toka, Razor, 90s accessory set, those are to be determined because they have not said yet when they're going to release the 1990s accessory sets, yeah. which I want to have. I don't know why, but it's literally like, I don't know, just a few extra pieces, but it's still cool to have because Definitely cool. Ex look, I would just talk about Jack specific se selling accessory packs. Uh, Mattel did it with Masters of the Universe. Some of these accessories packs are worth more than the actual figure. Yeah. So buy two sets only because one, you always run out of a sword. There's Donatello's bow always breaks. Michelangelo's nunchucks never in par. You know, or you miss the set where you have Michelangelo's nunchucks where you can like do like the spinning thing, yeah. or you miss picking up the baby turtles and they had more accessories on the baby turtle sets. There's more. Um, also coming out next week will be uh, literally happy hunting for anyone will be the two pack of the foot soldiers. So if you missed on the single packs, now you can get the double pack. I'm going to be the one to buy two of these. Two mm -hmm. foot soldier packs because I need to have my turtles beat up people every now and then, <laughs> and then you'll have Splinter versus Shredder again, which I think is going to be a cool piece. I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, Splinter Shredder two pack. Like that's going to be pretty neat. I mean, who doesn't want to redo the roof scene where you know <laughs> Splinter? Spoiler alert! You know, if you haven't seen the movie back in <laughs> 1990, and got uh -huh. wrapped on it. <laughs> Uh, and if you haven't read the first comic book, which a lot of them have it phonetically sealed, that's how that's how the book originally ended, supposedly. Yeah. Um, uh, but I like to see you know Splinter yet again with a nunchuck, with a sword, with a stat. He has all of them. Uh, he'll have all of them again, and then Shredder with his staff, his piercing, his what kind of a staff is it again? Is it like it's a bow? It's a bow staff. No, yeah, but he has. But but like it's got a sharp end to it, like as if he's about to go jousting. Yeah, yeah. oh, I can't remember the name of it too. Damn it! I know it, you're talking about. But anyway, about. doesn't matter. Someone someone will be nice enough to tell us in three, two, one. <laughs> uh, then if you saw the Splinter and Baxter edition that you just saw right now, Target will be releasing it later this this month, literally towards the end. Uh, you also got uh, Zorox and Zork. And you got the deluxe crank Android body that's coming out later this year. I kind of so want to see just, what that one looks like. I expecting him to be this big. Yep. Maybe a little bit bigger. This big. Uh, I'm gonna get that only because it's crank. I mean, look. You, I mean, I got the. I have the 82 version somewhere lying around in my storage unit. But this is the remake. Yep. More highly detailed. A lot oh, heavier. Definitely. Does make me want to go hunt hunt these bad boys, but I will not buy them a fish.com after the stuff that I went through <laughs> last time. And you guys all know the toys I bought at wish.com. If you haven't, go on YouTube, go on Facebook, and rewatch re -watch my what was it? My Monday unboxing of the Ninja Turtles from Wish.com, yep. which were so bad. You mean the Ninja Tortoises? 
<laughs> the discoloring, the smell. The yep. I, I mean, I learned a lot just by looking at it. I mean, best twenty bucks I spent in a way, but not the best twenty bucks I spent. <laughs> Right, it's like how do how do you explain it? And then they purposely butchered the box just to, just to prove that's fake. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so if you're in the hunt, this is your list. If you like, take a screenshot so you know, or just wait a few hours. I'll repost it again on yeah. the Evo Comics page as well too, or go on BYOB's Facebook group or any other toy collectors who love NECA, love Ninja Turtles. This list is up there. Uh, did you finally end up getting your Casey Jones and Raphael in disguise? Apparently, I have not, apparently now Walmart's doing now. I have not gotten a two pack. Um, I knew I do need to. I'm a little upset with Walmart too because I ordered uh, something from Walmart uh, back in July, and right. they finally shipped it out, and I got a completely wrong figure. It was like what? one of their like, oh yeah, they it was supposed to be like one of the cons from the Transformer movie. And it was like 19, it was like 20 bucks. And then they shipped me like these little war on Cybertron, two little mini piece ones. And it's a board like $7. I called them up. They're like, oh yeah, sorry. That's no longer available. I'm like, I, I paid 20 bucks for this. I ordered it back in July. It was the only way to get, yeah, we're all out. I'm like, but you guys screwed up. Not me. They're like, yep, sorry. Nothing we can do. We can cancel yeah. your whole order. I was like, no, 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 don't cancel. Cause I got two other orders on there that I want and I paid for, and I'm waiting for the refund to come back. They haven't refunded me yet. Ooh, see, so. I got a call. See, I have to call games. Well, there was. You remember when GameStop had the the toy version? I forget the the. Uh, what was the toy version of GameStop? Oh, are you uh, talking about the Think Geek? Yes, Think Geek. Think Geek. I remember. Yep. I remember Think Geek messed up completely online. When I mean completely messed up online, they had Rocket Raccoon for Marvel Legends as the six inch figure and as the build a figure, and that's what they had displayed. What what Think Geek sent me was the three inch figure box oh. set of Marvel Legends of Rocket, and not only did they send me one, but they sent me two. Then later mm. sent me the wrong one again. I said, just cancel the whole entire thing, and I'll send you back the figures. It's like, no, you keep the figures. But the fact that they mislabeled something online and sent the wrong thing altogether was very interesting. <laughs> Yeah. And the worst part about it is now it's like you're ordering some of the stuff and it's like, oh, I can only pre-order it through your website and you have a finite amount of these. And I order it. I spend the money. You ship me a completely wrong device. And then they're like, sorry, there's nothing we can do. Right. Well, well now I got to go hunting and pay more money for it. It sucks. Well, that's how it was with uh, GameStop when they had the uh, turtle van that had all six Ninja Turtle figures in yep. it. And GameStop literally let people pre-order to the very last minute and then pretty much canceled everyone's order. I believe no one got. And the strangest thing possible was that Todd, Mc not Todd McFarlane, Kevin Eastman yeah. posted a video of him unboxing this and at his feed going, dude, GameStop canceled this order. How did you get one? We have no idea. No one got their order. You, you know how he got so, it? He's Kevin Eastman. He made him. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Josh. No, I'm just kidding. I won't make fun of you, well, Josh. Well, well, to 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 be fair, Target did have the Casey Jones Raphael first not too long ago. Now Walmart will be ha having this one as well too. It's not technically an exclusive, but Walmart will, will be carrying uh, carrying it very shortly. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, uh, I'll, send you I'll send you a picture of it, Jabo. Oh, which transformer of it? Well, yeah, which, you know the what? transformer figure I got returned. Where is it? Is it here? What? Not? We're not. You're not showing a picture. We're live, baby. Bring it out. Oh, you want to see the one that they sent me? Yes, I'll, I'll go get seconds. it. <laughs> you hold on, yeah, go get it. So we can put it to the side. So while he puts his, while he puts this crazy cr rendition of a toy that he got the wrong thing of. Look, you may you may hate Walmart, but you love Walmart. When it comes to certain things that you need to get and get and have, you you have your Walmart exclusives. And I love my friends that love and hunt for us as well too, because I live in New York and it's been a giant disaster. What the heck is that? So Explain this is this. what they sent me. They're like the little minis uh, figures. So it's Transformers, uh, Earth Earthrise, Cybertron, and it is the Decepticon Growl and Bomb Shock. Uh, and then at the bottom, it tells me 
demo printing use wasp barcode draw so this is what they sent me but they were supposed to send me what looked like a shark decon that you had to pre-order back on uh july 1st and i pre-ordered was like 1987 paid everything you know did it and this is what they sent me it's like yay Dude. thanks guys hold and on i tried to that wanted hold to on. I wanted to get my money back and they're like, they finally just did it. And then they're like, Oh, you can keep it, throw it away, bring it back, whatever you want to do. We don't care. I'm like, uh, okay. Right. So, but, but here's what's great. That thing has a sticker on it that a store needs to put out for demo use. And if it came from the manufacturer, that's worth some cash, extra yes. cash, yep. especially since it's made for demo use for certain stores. Remember when some of them, I have Kmart did this, Toys R Us did this as well too. I think Target, I um, Josh can probably attest as well too. Uh, for Walmart, at one point they they had special display cases for toys because they didn't want people touching a lot of the accessories, a lot of the special toys. Yes. So they had a play for the for the up and coming toys. This could have been one of the demos um, for a display. True. True. Never know. But anyway, to some Teeny Ninja, Ninja Toy, fun for you guys. We're going to bring up a toy that's coming out, and that is the Splinter and Baxter action figure sets. Uh, there's a lot of pictures to go through, guys. So get your paper towels, napkins, and uh, favorite stuff ready. We're going to go through to almost 20 pictures of Splinter and Baxter. Uh, extra accessories and toys are not included. This is only for the Baxter Splinter toy set. As I said, get your napkins and paper towels ready for what we're about to show you. I'm sorry. You're so funny. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, look, because because why? Because I want the shredder now. After right? seeing this, I want now I'm in the hunt to go find Shredder or a version of Shredder. Just to get Baxter. And if you've played the arcade game and you've played any of the cartoon series, I can I need Bax. I, don't want I do. This I, do I do like want. this because Shredder looks like he's like disciplining his child. He's like, "I told you to clean the your room. Why didn't you clean your room?" You know, right? <laughs> <laughs> this this is like one of those like moments. Yeah, this is pretty cool though. And then he's like, "What you say? What you say, yeah, right? Hey, what did you say to me, Dad? Dad? What you say to me? Th this is the hood. Don't make, don't make me hurt you, bro." <laughs> I mean, that's what I will shrink ray you. Do not make me. <laughs> well, look at his shrink ray. He's got all the different settings to turn yep. every single person into a certain. Yeah, it was like character. certain animals and stuff like that. Does it? It looked like he turned Shredder into a fly right there. Yeah, it's the Shredder flies oh, right I there. I didn't see that the first time I saw the picture. That's awesome. I missed that. That's fly cool. Shredder. That's awesome. If that's like a little mini accessory that comes with it, you get the little Shredder fly. Fly little Shredder fly. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Yeah. I Go ahead see. And hold on to him. Yep, I didn't see that. I missed that the last time because I wasn't paying attention. You know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen now? We're we're in love with the shredder accessory. Netka's gonna do that to us. They're gonna give us the. <laughs> they're gonna give us the tank. They're gonna give us baby shredder. They're gonna give us the guns, the accessories, the Foot Clan, the Baxter computer. <laughs> yep. Baxter's computer. These I are not that. part of it, so don't no. even ask us about it, please. This is someone's set because if you look in the back, that belongs to something else as well, too. And that was for uh, a pre what was it? one of the previous toys that we showed before. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, the not the mouth, the mouth, not the Mausers. The um, yeah, they were the version of the Mausers. Yes, they were the version yeah. of the Mausers. They come out of the ground. That's the yep. drill right there. So yeah, and that's the pieces for where you had the arms. That's all the blue blueprints and stuff on the back and stuff. Yeah. But are you not paying attention to what's in the background? Yeah, I am. You are. You, do you do you see what's in the background? That oh, the crane in the body. back. The crane bot is sitting in the background. And what's so whoever that's talking? A, a a device I've ever seen in my life. I have never seen this ever in the cartoons tell, or anywhere else. Tell me that it does not look like the Spider Slayers from Spider-Man. It, like, it does look like Spider Slayer, so it could be it looks like a, a Spider Slayer. Yeah, but but why is it for uh, why is it part of Ninja Turtles? I don't know. Why is this part of Ninja Turtles? This I can it, understand. It's awesome. Nice little Ted uh dish on that. I didn't see that in the background. That's nice. 
Yeah. Didn't pay attention there. You got Baxter, Baxter's happy computer. <laughs> Very creepy, but awesome at the same time. You know you your, you know at one point you thought your computer was gonna do this and talk back to you. Eventually we're gonna have a, a computer that has that can recognize your facial expressions and talk back to you the same exact way. Bad enough our computer tracks everything anyways, might as well do something like that, like you know. There are some games that will literally feed like will literally feed back to you. Yeah. Uh, also, as I said, Michelangelo and Casey Jones not included. So don't mark my words. But yet again, because of Shredder, I want I want this now. Originally, didn't want them. Now I do. The Casey Jones definitely looks awesome. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> got the computer in his head. Yep. Baxter's flying to like shoot Michelangelo, and then you know, look, it's got the ray guns. See, I love the photographer who did this. Kudos to the yeah. photographer. Yeah, nice you've got me on a buy, dude. And then now you got slimed Michelangelo on the floor. He looks like a little squirrel in a way, like he's sitting there, like a little, you know. Definitely. I don't know what this one was supposed to be because it's only half of Michelangelo, and I forget what this was supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a piece of mud, or I you know? Remember. I forget. See, this is how long it's been since any of us has watched the cartoons. So if right. you remember anything from the original '80s cartoons into the early '90s, please let us know. We're talking about '85, '86 cartoons. Not the 90 version cartoons that have the space between the eyes. Yeah. And then now we have Splinter. Splinter. I do dig the Splinter. I, I do like the look of this, you know, from the feet, the way they've got it wrapped. It's got the staff there, you know, the nose, everything about this to the robe. They did a great job with the detail on this. I would have liked it if they did this as almost, it was like a, Five pack? No, 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 no. Well, that too. This would have been a really cool five pack, but almost like it flocked. You know, like have okay. the figure like he looks like he's got like fur on him or something like a felt to him. So it almost looks like a real, you know, rodent per se. You know, I, I wouldn't want that because if you remember uh, when Playmates made Splinter, the movie version of Splinter, it had felt on it. Yes. So eventually, it would come off. And, yes, you know, felt wouldn't last as long. I mean, I I like this one. I do like the the detail on him as well too. He's got cloth robe. Mm -hmm. Um, could he be extra furry? No, dude, no. <laughs> no. I live in New York City. I don't need this as a reminder of stuff that crawls under my feet every time I leave my apartment building. I'm sorry, no. Bad enough, you already <laughs> see them running around. You don't need it for real. <laughs> Here's the kicker. The little, the little here, the little... yeah. Splinter's got a pet rat. The, the giant rat's got a pet rat. Uh, hey, you know, I mean, why not? He's got four Ninja Turtles, you know, teenage turtles. Why not have a he's pet got rat? Teenage, he's got a, he's got a, I you mean, it, is this his, uh, his, that's his apprentice. He has he has his next apprentice in hand. <laughs> I, I don't know uh, where the gun came from. I think this has to do with, like, uh, Shredder or has to do with the Foot Clan. Part of uh, probably one of the accessories in it. I mean, look, he looks like he's angry. Could yeah, you, like he got the gold. Like, he's got the gold on. He's show enough from uh, this is like Dragon. seven. This is seven. Yeah, he looks like show enough. Seven deadly sins. Pick any Asian movie whatsoever. That's a that's a pissed off. That's a very upset. Yes, uh, Ninja Warrior right there, Master. The very it's a very upset Master. Instead of him fighting with your fists and feet, he's got a gun. A nine millimeter. He's ready to Splinter, take you Splinter, explain this one to us, please. Splinter, <laughs> explain why the gun. And then, and then, and then, and then the next one, he's, like, he, oh. he's uh, let me meditate on why I used a gun. <laughs> why I had to take matters into my own hands. Right. <laughs> I will bust it somewhere. <laughs> right. Raphael, like, I told he, you, clean that room. <laughs> he makes old school hip hop look old school. Like. <laughs> as Josh said, that's, 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 that's his pip look. <laughs> but <laughs> even, but even in this stance, powder, little, little baby powder. <laughs> like even in this stance right here, he looks like he's about to do harm. Oh yeah! After he did what he did, he's sitting there like, oh, these these <laughs> so mothers, these mothers, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna whoop someone. <laughs> Lord help me, I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> 
I must read to meditate to all the Lord save <laughs> so. You know, though, I give whoever the artist is, the photographer that did this, absolute kudos. I'm having a blast with these, man. You did a great job with this. It's hilarious. These are fantastic. This is great. I you mean, know? the fact that my rat is now meditating to calm himself <laughs> down with a book of Zen, of, of Zen, I, of martial I, arts. I want the book to be like the art of war or something or whatever or something, you know? I, I want to know the title. Yes. Someone created with the title of like Renaissance art. If the book says Renaissance art, I'm laughing to the today or Zen <laughs> dynasty, something. Right. Anything Zen related. Oh, too funny. Too I'm funny. so hurt <laughs> when it keeps going. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> when keeping <laughs> real goes wrong, that's the title of the book. Yep. That's the title of the book. When keeping it real goes wrong, uh, that is what that's the finished reading in this in this picture right here. <laughs> and the fact that he has a scroll, it kind of looks like the Chinese. Um, kind of looks like the Chinese. Um, uh, it almost to me, I probably got it wrong. It kind of looks like the Chinese a calculator for a brief second. Yeah, but yeah, but it is a scroll. But I find it interesting that Splinter has a short sword. Does yeah. he have a long sword or a middle sword? He has a short sword. He has a stack of books. These should all have titles on them. I'm sorry, Neca, Neca. If you're doing a second release, I'm going to do this right now. Neca, if you're doing a second release, make sure all your books have crazy titles. Or one of us is going to sit there and create cool stickers to make your toys look even cool. Right. Because <laughs> I want these books to say something else. I, you know what? I want I want one of the books just to be a gag. I think it'd be hilarious. Cookbook. Yeah. You know, like for, for like turtle soup or something like that, you know? Like no, something like that. I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah, I think that's it'd be hilarious, though. But that's the book that Shredder carries. Like if he yeah. has like the turtles, like like if he's defeated them. Yep. The joke of the day, he's looking through a cookbook and it says how to make turtles and what and it opens to a page saying how to make turtle soup. Yeah, almost like a gargamel for uh, the Smurfs. 100 ways to cook the Smurfs. <laughs> he, says, <laughs> he, he broke the tip off and someone for owing him money. Seriously. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. You mess with Splinter. But could you imagine? All right, all right, all right. I'm in New York City. If I see this thing, if I see an actual New York City subway rat come after me with a knife, and we've seen it. I've seen it. You've all seen the pictures of him carrying a, carrying a pizza. You've yep. seen the crab holding a knife. You've yep. all seen the crab holding that switch knife. Rat holding onto a sword that big. Rat holding onto this sword. And in New York, they got some rats, too. Those aren't uh, exactly small. And he's, ready to, and he's got the pose. He's ready to fight. Would you fight him? Would no. you fight Splinter? I'm fight saying him? that I'm running, man. I'm running. <laughs> this ain't the Matrix. I ain't believe I'm Neo. I'm going after him. No, 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 no. I'm moving the no, other no. way. <laughs> so, for a fact, in June or November, someone showing up just like this, coming oh, to our God. table and doing that. All right. I will give the person that shows up just like this, doing this pose at my table or at Burgi. And we take a picture of it. You will get a free poster at either no, the November or the the June 2021 or the November 2021. Wrote on a Comic Con. If you happen to show up, if you dress up like Splinter, yeah. Even if you put paper, make a paper mask, whatever, anything. Okay, you show up as Master Splinter. You have to do this pose at our table, and you got to say you're next or something like that. Make something yeah. as outlandishly funny Hilarious. and crazy. Yep. Make our day. And you get a free poster from me uh, if, if you do it to both of us. Free oh, Ninja Turtle poster. Too funny. Too funny. But yeah. I think it's the next one that you have that he uh, I absolutely love. Yep. There he goes. <laughs> this is when you know all hell broke loose. Like he Dude. summoned something. He talked to somebody. He was sick and tired of something. Baxter Stockman got on his nerve. He, he broke something. He went Super Saiyan on this. Oh, you, know? you dirty little rat. Ooh, <laughs> you dirty little rat. You killed my brother. Ooh. No remember is it? Yeah, go watch the movie again, kids. Ooh. <laughs> but if he <laughs> chased you down, that sword came into flames. Dude, I am running for my life. Right? I am 
But I don't. I don't even think a gun can shoot can can hurt this thing. When when he's coming, you know, with the sword, like you just move, just move. Josh says he's actually Josh. I will <laughs> be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poster if you do this at either the June or November show. I, you know, for a fact, Burge is going to be there. I will definitely be there as well yep. too. So. Yeah, he's ready. J Boy's ready to take on twenty twenty. This is when you know twenty twenty's got that. You're like. Right. All right, I got to bring out the flaming sword. I got to do it. Like, you know. Uh, Mia, what is uh the CSCC? Please explain what is CSCC cuz R- Really, bro? Really? What? What, what do you think CSCC is meaning me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's not, he's not he's not down with the Colorado. He's not down with the Colorado. I'm not down with Colorado. I'm so not sorry. The- it took me okay. a second. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well, actually, honestly, it's a lot of if, free time, a lot of free travel, and you guys are in August for next year. I may yep. make that trip finally because it, I've been doing my tour list. And honestly, if somebody does this at Colorado Springs Comic Con and finds me dressed as Splinter, and you do this, when I get back home, I will make sure I get a post off hash. I'll get a collection, whatever he has. I'll take whatever one you guys want, and I will personally, I uh, will mail it to you for you if you can do that. Anybody does this and that, now that's going to be awesome. Like I, yeah, I'm, I'm totally I got some, people, I got some people. I got some people in Colorado that will definitely do that. Like I know yeah. a few that will do that. They'll come dressed up as all the turtles. Like it'll be funny as hell. All right, one more time. Dude, that's, the this, oh. that's the Ooh, box. That's the box. Can are you zoom? For. Can you zoom in on the book? Does the book have writing on it? Can we see? There's anything? writing in. Front. Nothing the on the book, but, the book of Renaissance. So he's got the Renaissance. Yeah, I was hoping if the book, the red book there that he was holding had something on it. Darn it. I was hoping yeah. it said something. But I mean, look, I like the background, like the background, where, whatever this is, I want the box itself. That looks like See, the dojo wish, mat he has on it. But I wish like box art would be extra. Like, look, it does come days. with the computer. So Baxter yeah, does, does get that computer. So that's pretty cool. Like that's some pretty neat accessories that comes with it. There's Shredder, the little Shredder fly. Oh my god, I want to buy it just for the damn Shredder fly. I want it sad. just for that. Because you remember when he shoots and when he's testing it out and he's like flying around, buzzing, and he's yep. kind of you know, rest in peace, Uncle Phil, for for voicing Shredder in our childhood. Uh, Jay yes. Avery, Reggie will play that with heart. Yeah, I know he would. <laughs> <laughs> there's the Latin, there's the box art for all you guys looking for your latest buy at Walmart. Was it Walmart, Target, wherever? Happy hunting. Oh, this is definitely uh, gonna be Walmart. If you buy one for yourself, buy one for us too. We'll take multiple <laughs> entries, please. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, our you know the the show can never end in the right note. You know, our, our, every time we get on. Everyone always talks about the latest Funkos, where to get them, where to find Mm -hmm. them. I already got them here. I got them over there. They don't have them here. Oh, my God, it's there. Oh, my God, it's ugly. We we hear it all, right? Yep. We're we're getting a little sick and tired of you guys complaining about the Funkos because deep down inside, we all know you're buying it. You're going to call it ugly. You're going to complain where to find it. When you do, you're buying it. So without further without further ado, we mm-hmm. will start with the pre-order of Disney's Fantasia with baby Pegasus because he's cute. See, at first when I saw this, I was just thinking, what is this abomination from My Little Pony? Right. Like this seriously looked like something like out of My Little Pony. I was like, oh, this is a thing in Nightmare. And then I looked, I was like, oh, it's baby Pegasus from Disney's Fantasia. It's still but- scary looking. <laughs> When you see it, even even if it was My Little Pony, I just see um, Adam Salty's from A Salty's Art Creations butchering uh-huh. this. Oh God, if, yeah. If if you haven't seen his his ten inch Baby Yoda destroyed, you are missing out. Well, so I don't think go, I've seen that. I'm gonna have to go find that. Yeah, it's on his Instagram. Go to A Salty's underscore Art underscore Creations. You know what? I, I'm gonna have to put a. Bl- I'm gonna have to put something up because meanwhile, the second I do this, go on this page, and I want you guys to check out his Instagram 
and his Facebook or something like that. Wherever you find it, whatever. Also, um, if you guys are into horror pieces and stuff like that, this dude does some serious zombified uh, stuff. amiibos and different stuff. And he is a ser he is a good artist. And a lot of stuff he does is just straight out creepy as hell. Yeah. Really cool stuff. He's got some really cool stuff. Go right. go on Instagram right now. Go and find him. Tell him we, we sent you. Literally tell him we sent you and he'll understand. Yeah. Go on his page. That's his Instagram. If you got your phone open right now, go and check it out. He has a killer baby Yoda. And it is not to be messed with. I posted on my Instagram and I showed it to everyone live not too long ago. If you're looking for messed up funk funk figure funk <laughs> funk Funko figures Funko. <laughs> Funko, thank you. You definitely want to check it out. Definitely one of those. Get the Pegasus. Uh, what else we got? This craziness. There's a lot of Fantasia. We got the hippo. Uh, especially remember from one of the scenes. Yep. So the dancing hippos, weren't they? The dancing hippos. It's Happy been a while 80th. Since I watched Fantasia. <laughs> I gotta rewatch that. I watched a bunch of stuff. I remember. I love watching this, the, the Chernabog. I love this one. Is, is, is this one of your must haves? This is actually something I would like to have just because of the figure, and I like the dark demonic look of it. It, it just looks really cool. This is definitely a nice piece. The detail on this is really cool. Oh, the fact that someone hasn't seen this movie is very sad. You know, and J Bo, you got to watch it. It's it's tricky. Especially when it comes to, especially when it comes to this Mickey Mouse mm -hmm. sorcerer. The Sorcerer Mickey Mouse is one of the mo uh, is everyone's favorite Mickey Mouse of all time. Uh, this, uh, just like every other Funko figure, this is an art collection. Uh, this is an art version as well too. This is one of the versions of Mickey Mouse Sorcerer Mickey. Uh, this is the second art release for Sorcerer Mickey. And uh, if you are for regular uh, Sorcerer Mickey, we have regular Sorcerer Mickey for your choices for your uh, hunting pleasures. Dude, you're not kidding when you said that uh, Baby Yoda thing. He, seriously. Yeah, you're looking at Instagram right now? Ooh, that thing is creepy as hell. Yeah. My God. That kid's got way too much skill. Yeah. Way too much free time on his hand, too. Oh, well, that's so, it. <laughs> that's too. Way too much free time. Way too much, a lot of stuff. He's got a uh, lot of talent. And he just, he got an 11th inch, 11 inch child. Oh, God, I, I hate to see what he's doing. Sucker. Did you not see it? Oh, I see it right there. Oh, man. Yeah. That is a thing in nightmares. Seriously. Uh -huh. Nightmares. Yeah. Uh, what, what, Adam, uh, you, what, Adam, you need therapy. You need therapy, Adam. Just, I'm uh, just right here. You need therapy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what birds he's talking about. Go to this Instagram page right now and go look at his pictures. You will find the child, aka Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian. And uh, it is a stuff of nightmares. Look at that. Jabo, as Birdie just posted right now. Yeah. Look at that. That's the 11th that's... inch and then the small one. Yeah, that's, that's the regular. Seriously. That's the regular Funko just... size. And that is the giant 10 inch, 11 inch Funko. God. It just, and it shows. Yeah. That's the little guy. That's the little one. And this is. This is what he did to it. He hollowed <laughs> it out. Like, seriously, what you do to baby Yoda? <laughs> Bro. Wow. Apparently Mia wants you to send her the pictures. Mia, you have Instagram? Go on this go on the Instagram right now. Yeah, go check him out. Go on his Instagram, check out the pictures right now. That's that's what Bertie's looking at. Uh we also have the Dumb and Dumber figure. So if you guys are a big fan of Dumb and Dumber, why is my phone I'm going such up? A, such a big hit. Adam's all of a sudden like, yo, stop talking about me. I'll say I got 100 hits. <laughs> 100, 100 new hits, guys. Uh, if you're looking for a new Funko figures, uh, Funko just released the Dumb and Dumber figures. So you can get uh, Casual Harry. There's the box art. A lot of people are big fans. You get Lloyd. We also got some fun ones, actually. Remember when they get into haircuts? You yep. get the haircut versions. Uh, haircut Harry. Haircut Harry? Yeah, we'll call it Haircut yeah, Harry. Haircut Harry. Dapper Harry. This is my favorite. The Tux The Tux Harry um, is actually one of my favorite pieces. But I, but I, it's missing 
<laughs> I feel like it's missing something. I don't know why. I kind of wish it had a live action where he, like he literally hits Lloyd with the with the cane. Yep. I need like the like the bigger set version where he at least slaps some. And how they're gonna do the open mouth version, I have no idea. You know, but they when could he gets do that as a movie this, moment. Maybe that could be yeah. the movie moment when he smacks him with the the thing. But if you're looking for the chase, the chase of him holding the two um, champagne glasses to celebrate, which I'm still looking for Lloyd shooting out the cork where he shoots the uh, shoots the owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what killed this part? <laughs> he says, "What died?" Uh, 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 Mutz cuts. Uh, this is a re-release, so. Uh, I know for a fact this is a re-release. Uh, not too, not too long ago, this was released. This will be the second time they're releasing the mutt cuts. Uh, if you didn't get the first time, you know you're gonna get now, 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 pretty mm -hmm. much now, now. Uh, now, now, brown cow. Now, 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 now. Uh, just add more. We have Lloyd and his bowl cut that he was trying <laughs> to get. I love this. I remember when we were like kids and my dad went to the we took it to the the hairstyle you know the barber joe the barber and there was a guy a kid there that was like wanted to get a bowl cut i am the barber take over a bowl put it on his head and just cut all the way around it and took the little buzzes trimmed it and that was it and i just laughed and my dad's right. like that? nope i don't want that haircut at all that looks so dumb oh just took a bowl just went right through it yep and then you got Lloyd, especially with the top hat and the tux. I you know, mean, I want somebody to do these two. The the this for I've a seen this. I've I seen haven't. This at Comic -Cons already. I've seen this at Comic Cons already. Really? I haven't I've seen. I've not seen this at Rhode Island or like any of the ones I've gone to. I've not seen this one. I've seen it with more people our age doing it instead of the younger crowd. Because well, yeah. I, you know, I really haven't. Seen, yeah, I. It's been a while since I've seen this. I do have pictures. I. It's actually on the Evil Comics page. Where I do have a couple of people dressed up as uh, Harry and Lloyd in the tuxes, and we, there's we the cork to, one. There's the chase. We got to go hit up Savers or something by like our orange horrible suits and stuff like that. Grabbing these and going to the party dressed like this, I think it'd be hilarious. You want me to show up to the after party this time? This time I'll make it to the after party because I missed you, it the other time. You have to. <laughs> I have to. I have to make it up because I didn't. I bought all the accessories. I had everything. Yep. Um, someone still owes me my cup. You know, my das boot has still not. I have your das boot. Yet. I have it in my office. Your das boot. It's still in my office. Still after what? Three years? Two years? Nope. Two years? Nope. I missed it I two years ago. <laughs> and the funny thing is, on that Thursday, I was ready to go. I was dressed up, and I thought it was like I didn't know where to go. And the people I was with, I had to babysit two other artists, which were not oh. helpful at all. This is why I will not go with artists that don't want to go out and party. So, all mm -hmm. right. You can't party, can't come. Sorry. Uh, we got Lloyd on the bicycle, on the uh, moped, bike, whatever. Uh, also, I wish this came with Harry. Yes. I wish this came with Harry because of, if you remember the scene where they're driving into Colorado, and especially when they get stuck together because it's because it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> Because one character has to relieve himself, yep. and he relieves himself on his buddy, and Lloyd, is, uh, Harry is stuck to Lloyd when he gets up out of the bike. But you know the funny thing is too with this is that he needs the little bugs. Like even if they put like little flies or little things around his face or something like that, because he. <laughs> oh yeah, he needs the teeth and everything. Yep. And yep. I uh, yeah totally. And uh, the next pop figure coming out is a complete re-release. Literally, this is the third time we've shown this figure, and it's because it's back on pre-order on some of these people's uh, websites and pages. So this is the Harry Potter. Uh, I can't remember which one, though. But it's I another re-release. This is the dragon from Gringotts. Yeah, Gringotts Dragon. It's That's one dragon. that was part of Gringotts uh, Bank. Yep. Right. So this is Gringotts, Gringotts Dragon. This is, the this is the third time that we have shown this pop figure. Yeah. And it is available, and then it wasn't available. Now it's back as pre-order on a lot of people's websites and a lot of people's pages. So if you haven't gotten Green Gods Dragon, go and get it again. Go and get it if you missed out. Yet again, Funko's 
they never go out of style. They'll always get re-released somehow. If there's so, enough of demand for them. And they actually are changing the boxes up on them too. There's some of the style of the boxes. That's why you get new releases. They change up the boxes. The so. number's still the same. So they should just yep. call them as a chase. Yep. You get new box art. It's a, it's a new chase. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Bird, you'll be going to see this next year. <laughs> uh, going to Disney in October. So let's go. Well, that's that's a universal. Two, two totally different places. Well, you know, we're spending a day at Universal. I gotta get my I gotta get my wand. I need my butterbeer. I, I I have my wand. I, I need to get one. Gotta get my wand. I need my butterbeer. Need your butterbeer. Yeah, who are you going with, by the way? It's certainly not me. <laughs> hey, you wanna come? Come on. We got room. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. With you and that rat pack? Yeah, I'll be the one like never mind. That that's for a whole another that's be, for a whole you'd another... babysit you'd be trying to babysit all of us. <laughs> Good luck with be that. The one, I'd be one in the corner trying to like talk to people, and then meanwhile, <laughs> I'm oh, I'll always be the first one up and the last one standing. Let's just let's just be honest. Yeah, probably. Um, uh, next figure coming out is for all you Inspector Gadget fans. So finally, we get the release of Inspector Gadget. I love this cartoon. I want to know. Especially us seeing, especially getting from this version, and now you're gonna be chasing where it comes out. And I've yeah. seen people cosplay as a Spectre Gadget. Few people have done it, which is really cool. I want to see Doctor Claw. Someone said in the cartoon they showed his mm. face, and I went back one one year when I got older, and I went through the whole entire episodes, and not even once they never showed. Dr. Claw's face. They never showed his face in there. He, like, he always had that one arm, or you'd see him holding the cat, and he'd just be petting yeah. the cat, and the one arm was all, like, silvered, like, almost like Destro style, but you never saw his face. Yeah. Ever. I did see somebody once, I think it might have been at uh, Boston Fan Expo or something, Con, where there was a guy that had two different hats, and he yeah. had one of the hats that had the hat that had the thing down with the the, the badge we well, know with the badge and then he had another one that had i think it was either this or he had something else with it that was on the hat and he had different hats he would just put them in a bag take it out wore it and it was awesome this dude had a really nice cosplay i was impressed with that which i i took a picture of it i never did oh next time hopefully this hopefully next year we get to right? see more or if you're going to the toy show in new jersey the uh, new jersey toy con uh, Why hopefully not remade this the cartoon series. This needs to be remade. And no, 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 no. Bad enough Matt LeBlanc messed this up as a movie, and then we got the second movie as well, too. No, I don't want any of this. No, I no, don't no, think no, it no. was Matt LeBlanc. It was Matthew Matt, Broderick. Matt Lillard. Me. Matthew Broderick. Matt Broderick. Whatever. <laughs> Terrible. I'm sorry. Right. Ferris well, Bueller do it as a, after Ferris do it as Bueller the cartoon. Stuck. Do it as a cartoon. Redo a cartoon. Like no, don't redo the cartoon. Yeah. Re-release the cartoon. Don't redo yeah, this cartoon. Yeah, that's to re-release the cartoon. That would be cool. Because because if you release or do a new version of the cartoon or reboot or whatever, we'll finally get to see Doctor Claw's face. The oh, mystery yeah, was Doctor Claw. They'd probably show it in the first episode. <laughs> They'll ruin it. Get the first right? episode. You go. Nope. Don't want to see it. It'd be like Thundercast <laughs> roar or all over what again. Else is, what else is on TV? <laughs> they also have Penny. Penny. And the only thing I'm upset about is not having the dog. I think the dog's name was Brain. Yeah, Brain. We was Brain. We don't have brain. brain. We don't have Brain. I want Brain, and I want the Brain to have the two, the one, and then the chase where he has the little the yeah, things that the, come out. Uh, yep. Uh, I want Inspector Gadget with the the, the phone, oh, that oh, phone yeah, in the hand. The phone. Yep. Yep. On the glove. Yep. He had the little, and it came out with the little antenna. And people forget straight out of Get Smart. Um, Inspector Gadget had a second phone that was his shoe that there, uh, uh, it was actually used in two episodes where his foot got to use as a spare phone. Yeah. Straight out of Get Smart. Yeah. <laughs> I have to rewatch this. I'm with her. I'm telling you. you. No, they don't. Yeah, uh, they also have I know. For the next set of figures, if you're into the Pop Rocks one, uh, they just uh, released Pet Shop Boys. Uh, so here's Chris Louie. Run the Pet Shop Boys, cool box art for anyone who's into the uh, music end of stuff. Uh, they also have Neil Tennant. Quick little gander for the uh, Pop Rocks, <laughs> Funko Pop Rocks. 
<laughs> I'm waiting for them to do a, a music compilation. You know, like um, you know, like the now, like the now series. I'm waiting yeah. for a pop series. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Now you get pop. <laughs> no, right? It's just it's just all types of wrong. Uh, next we have the Sonic 30th anniversary. Uh, we have Running Sonic. This actually looks really cool. I do like this, and me and uh, Jaybo definitely know someone that's going to be grabbing this for their son. Uh, I believe Davy is definitely going to need to get this. We're definitely going to have to be on the lookout for this one, Jaybo. And uh, the next one as that well. One, you also got yeah, Silver Sonic, almost yep. like Super Saiyan Sonic. I love how Sonic the Hedgehog went very Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, right. He went to yellow. He, now he he's silver. Here. <laughs> he's got extra gel. Uh, now for everyone else, we got some more Star Wars for you guys. Some of them were supposed to be New York Comic Con exclusives. Now they're not going to be New York Comic Con exclusives. Now they're open for the key market. So some of the Star Wars uh, pop figures coming up is literally for now the general public. So happy hunting of FYE, GameStop, Target, Walmart, or whoever is carrying these and your local comic book stores. So go and check out your local comic book stores. Um, I believe someone's looking for Final Fantasy. I think it was Mia or someone. Go to your local comic book stores to find those the second we're done. Anyway. This I, this uh, I want. I need Ahsoka. She is hands down because of the Clone Wars and the cartoon series. She has probably become one of my favorite uh, Jedi's that they've done, and I can't wait to see her in the new Mandalorian show. But do you feel like with her being released from Mandalorian, there's so much unexplained stuff that even the cartoon series hasn't talked about yet yes. about yes. her character? Yes, and I'm hoping we might get a little bit of a flashback of it, and I'm hoping they might throw Maul in that or something else. You know where she's been for some time, and I would love to see if she get enough buzz. I'm telling you, this could be another series that Disney could be doing. It might be a right. one-off, but... But but not only is this character, and this is why I said kind of spoilers alert if you're still watching a lot of the uh, Clone Wars series and are getting ready for Mandalorian, these figures are literally part because we also have uh, Bo Can uh, uh, Katan as well, yep. too, and someone has to explain how she uses loses the Black Saber. Yep. So... She has to be, you know, this character has, has to be explained. There's a ton of characters that have to be explained. Yep. Yes. Yeah, I'm oh, I just see I know. everyone saying, oh, I want, you want it all. <laughs> you want it all. <laughs> uh, there's your Darth Maul with, aka, his new legs. With the metal legs that the Seven Sisters gave him. His new lower torso. But every time I see this pose, I just I just think of Phantom Menace, Ray Parker, mm -hmm. you know, and if, if everyone misses the one CGI where this piece of the lightsaber extends as well too at random. Yeah. I did no like one... for so anybody who's watched Rebels uh in that I'm sorry, no Clone Wars, when the last four episodes, they did stop like motion capture of Ray Park doing yeah. that versus the character that did the body basically for Ahsoka. And they did that whole film that scene. That was... scene is Ray Parker. Yeah. Yeah. As, that's as all Ray Park. That's not them doing animation of it. They took that and basically CGI'd it and put it into it. So that's all Ray Park doing the moves, which is phenomenal. That man still got skill. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Minus the third member. Yeah. <laughs> you have Gar Saxton. Yep. Uh, I do I love the look of this thing. This thing looks so evil, demonic, like with the the helmet and stuff like that. Oh man. Now we're ready for someone to cosplay this in the Mandalore in, in the Mandalore set. I'm trying to think. I think there is a guy that in New Hampshire, Chris Laval, I think it is. Uh, I think he has a uh, armor very similar to this. He might not have the helmet just like this, but he has an armor pretty much like I, that he does. I, I, I haven't seen anyone do it. So if you saw him at the last Rhode Island Comic Con, then you saw him. I didn't see him because well, it was at the last Mando... Rhode Island Comic Con. Was, uh, he did it at a comic show, I think, like two weeks ago. Because they had one of the guys that was from the Mandalorian. He plays one of the bounty hunters, and he was there signing autographs. And he came down dressed as I'm positive it was this character. All right, look good. When you see one Mando, you see them all. <laughs> no yeah, offense. right. 
<laughs> uh, next uh, is uh, the Wars Wrecker. Yep. This is actually cool. Yeah. D tell me this does not kind of remind you of like a little bit of like almost like a Punisher. You know, with the, the, the way the face is painted, it's almost like a Punisher vibe to it. Add an army of two. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's right. That's it, Sean Todd. You're right, J-Bo, my bad. You're right, it is Sean Todd. That's who did it. He has a very similar uh, armor to it. That's because he looks like Luke Skywalker. I love Sean. Yes, he does. Looks like a chubbier version of, of Luke, but anyway. <laughs> he's a good Luke. Oh, he is. He's a good Luke. This is one of your favorites. Eh, not so much, man. I kind of... I don't know. I, well, I, this... I... Yeah, go ahead. I, I from I, the way I remember it is from like the Return of the Jedi. He was they the Gamorrean guards are always the heavier set guys. This guy looks like he's fitting in shape or he's anorexic. I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not sure if I I kind of dig him too much. All right, you know. But this was supposed to be a New York Comic Con exclusive. Now he is available at every, everywhere Funkos are sold. <laughs> so we did discuss this, and he was part of the, that that list. Yep. Like he was. Say was part of the list. Another figure that's another Funko Pop that's part of that list is the Mandalorian. And this Mandalorian is no longer an exclusive. He is now open for all markets. Happy hunting at your local Target and Walmart. I know, and I think he's I know, a so regular he, size like six inch or something size. like that. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I don't even have no I do have a Funko. I do have the Rhode Island uh, Pennywise here somewhere. I do like the look of that. I wish the armor was a little bit more shiny, like it has that like metallic, you know, chrome look to it. Slim down, Gamorian guy. Yeah, he went on the keto diet. I need that diet. <laughs> Last but not least, the child, mm -hmm. Baby the Yoda. child. Yes, we are. We are reshowing. Well, the last three were we showed them last week as well too. As not last week, the week before, as part of New York Comic Con's Funko. Spunko scavenger hunt, we'll say. Yeah, basically, yeah. We're um, in the world are Funko Pops. <laughs> now, the child is currently available at all major markets as well, too. So happy hunting when it comes to your Funkos. Good luck on your pre-orders. And uh, may the odds be, uh, may the hunt be in your favor when it comes to hunting your toys. I'm waiting for conventions next year. You're going to have Mom and dad dressed as, uh, you know, Cara Dune and the Mandalorian. And they're going to have small little children dressed as green little, you know, Yoda. But they're going to look more like a gremlin. Watch. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the dad's dress like the Mandalorian. Yep. And carrying and maybe, I, I mean, you're going to put the baby Yoda bonnet on him because you're not going to paint the kid green. Yep. But having the carrying thing. Mm -hmm. And it's only the dads carrying it. And the moms will be the one day dressing up where they don't yep. have to be the baby for once. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yep. It's dad. You're the, man, you're the Mandalorian. This is the way. You must this carry the, the child. You must carry the child. The child is yours for the day. <laughs> the child. The child. Anyway, any toys that you were really looking forward to? We already know you pre-ordered some. But yep. what is the other one that you're going? Well, I, actually, no. I already know what you're going to get. Oh, yeah, what? Go ahead. The the bat. Uh, oh my god! I just forget the name. Bane. Cad Bane. Oh, Cad Bane. I do. I definitely want Cad Bane. I do need to find Cad Bane uh, out of this file. But I'm also now kind of leaning towards Shredder. Uh, sorry, Splinter with um, you know, Baxter Stockman. I just want it because of <laughs> Shredder Fly. I want it because of the Fly Shredder. I don't know why. So bad. Sorry. I want this. So bad. And I want that damn shredder, that little fly. I don't know why. Uh, so apparently, uh, apparently, uh, Hot Topic has the baby Yoda you can put on your shoulder now, and it's at Hot Topic. That's crazy. Well, that's kind of cool. Jabo, I, I, I mean, I, that, that's all you, man. If you want to do that, I wouldn't do Jabo, that. But that's do all you. You, you, you got to do your uh, Venom Trooper and then walk around carrying the baby Yoda and then punch it in the head. Just, I mean. You're all about right. hitting the baby Yoda in the sack. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> I, see him hitting, I see him hitting a kid by accident. So, I think as, as yeah, right? cool box art for the day, cool box art has to go back to this. So, I agree. And if, and if anything, like, I just bought Electro. Hold on. 
See, actually, I even bought a few stuff as well, too. I know you can do it, J-Bo. I know you can. Da, 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 da. <laughs> when you have bags and when you go shopping, because you decide to go a little... My my one time to go to a Disney store to buy one plushie turned into two plushies because it was buy one, get one free oh, for kid's birthday turned into... You can't enter Disney store with, with a cup of coffee, which turned into... I'm going to walk around the mall and... And just drink my coffee. That turned yep. into I'm going to go to GameStop, and I bought the electro. That doesn't look like Jamie Fox. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm going to get Domino. Oh wow! You found that at the GameStop? Yeah, I found the GameStop by me, which I still have to go find. You, I still have to find Cable and everyone else. Oh, okay. So to get, I did find Domino. We don't we don't have that at my store for uh, Domino. We haven't gotten that. Oh. We did just get the uh, Incinerator Trooper helmets, and we just uh, the White Power Ranger helmet. We just got nice. those two um, in stock. And I did those. find this SpongeBob. This will go to someone <laughs> with Gary. So, with SpongeBob Gary. With Gary. SpongeBob with Gary. And this one, I know some of you guys are looking for it, but this was the uh, uh, Walgreens exclusive. Oh, yeah, the Soldier Supreme. So, But no one understands why this figure actually exists. This goes back to one of the editors-in-chiefs that passed away in the 90s. The face of this Captain America is the editor-in-chief of one of the previous editors of Marvel Comics. Huh. Yeah. Did not and, it was an inside, and it was an inside joke. And it was an inside joke that at one point this character put on the Captain America costume. Hmm. Uh, if no one knows what I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, Mark Greenwald was at one point editor in chief of Marvel Comics. He passed away in the 1990s, and there was an inside joke where he was one of the U.S. agents, and he was the reason for a lot of the remakes of Captain America and and also for the Squadron Supreme. Hmm. And he was also the reason for the rewrites for uh, the uh, the Soldier Supreme figures. Pretty cool, though. Nice. I did so pick I up this... uh, the Spider one. Spider oh, the Arc Arc Knight. Yeah. Arc 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 uh, Arachnic Knight. Yeah, my uh, my store manager for GameStop uh, was out shopping, and he saw it, and he he remembers me over overheard me talking about it, and he grabbed nice. it for me and brought it to me. So I did get lucky and found a blank Wonder Woman comic book. Oh, so nice. I can't wait to do a blank cover. But I like how fact I like the fact that it has over ninety six pages. So oh, that's a pretty good one. Got to think of a good cover for someone. Maybe do that uh, front and back. We're front to back, and it's ninety six pages, which is kind of crazy. And then last but not least, we we're talking about this one last time. So we're talking about Ooh, the, the Batman, Asriel. the Azrael. Yes. So I paid a little bit more than I should have, but. I need to get the Azriel because online he's going up in price, which I thought was very interesting. You know, I bought him at retail for twenty five, and this one, this little sucker is going up. That's of good. Cor of course, because I had to pay the twenty five, it's because I went to this store. Mm -hmm. You know how I feel about going to this store. <laughs> last, as I said, last resorts, last resorts. Yes, and a lot of times you have to go to Newberry Comic. It's a necessary evil to find it there. <laughs> anyway right anyway that's our show guys thank you all for watching if you can like love and share anything you've seen uh follow us on our instagram pages uh share stories if you find some of the toys let us know where you found them um you Actually, can. you know what? You know what I would like to do? I'd like to see a lot of these people that are following our shows and doing that. We're telling them, like, take a photo, like, come to GameStop, take a photo with me, win something. Take a picture with some of your toys. Yeah. You know, some of the stuff you guys pick up and get, like, send us some photos of that. We'd love to throw it in there occasionally in between one of our, you know, things or something like that. Put it up there, put it onto the, you know, the website on the Evo Comics or my webpage um, and do that. Like, we'd love to see that. Actually, yeah, I'd like to see your collection, and yeah. maybe we'll we'll uh, maybe I'll find your picture on Instagram. We'll put it up, and we'll do a fan appreciation for yeah. some of your cool collections. Mm -hmm. uh, also, contest still going on. Still looking for thirty pictures. I repeat, 
30 <laughs> individuals, 30 individuals. So go and meet Mike at the Warwick GameStop uh, in, Ro- yeah. in Warwick, Rhode Island. Uh, go to GameStop, take a picture with Michael and tag us. Yep. Yeah. Uh, tag us. One of the, one of the 30 lucky winners will win a, uh, a Heath Slater autograph uh, and a t-shirt as well, too. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, you can catch us on Sunday. If you don't like the Sunday show, you'll catch us every Tuesday here with This Week in Toy Culture. My name's Arash. That's Burgi. Go bug in my GameStop, guys. Good night. Later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>